Yo, what is going on, you guys? Balling Games 03 checking in back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video right here. Jamal Charles, Team of the Week. Jamal Charles, that's who I decided to pick up. I mean, if you look at his stats, they're pretty nice for a 91 overall. His speed is just amazing. I cannot explain in words. And he plays really good, too. I mean, unlike Reggie Bush, the flashback one who had insane stats on paper, he just didn't perform that well. But this Jamal Charles, he definitely backs up his solid stats. So right here, this is also our first game with the pistol playbook. So I'm learning the playbook and learning with the new halfback. So it's going to hopefully we're not going to go through um, too many growing pains. But yeah, right here, man, my opponent with that nice bait. I noticed he played that middle linebacker and he was actually pretty good at it. He got he, he made that he definitely made some nice plays out of the backfield. But right here. He has Steven Jackson too, man. It seems like everyone's rocking with that uh, flashback. Steven Jackson has Casey Hayward out of nowhere. Gets that nice pick. But yeah, it seems like everyone has that Steven Jackson. He's actually really nice, as I said in like I think my previous gameplay. But look at Jamal right here fighting for extra yards, showing that speed. We run that strong power to the left this time. Jamal Charles once again picks up another first down. So we give it to... Antonio Gates who breaks a tackle but we do get tackled down just shy of the first down it's all right because we hand it off to Jamal as he takes a shot thank god he didn't fumble you know it's always scary um when you start without start off with a new oh my gosh I never saw that before I've never seen that I mean he sent the house and my quarterback Aaron Rodgers didn't even get a chance to hand it off to um I think uh, Jamal Charles but yeah I never um what was I going to? Ah, I forgot what I was about to say, but yeah. Anyways, let's go on right here. Back to back sacks right here. But once again, my opponent gets a sack. So back to back to back to back sacks. I don't know. It was a lot of sacks. But anyways, right here, I decided to hit a slant route to DeAndre Hopkins. We can't get anything going. So we punt the ball, man. 0-0 zero, zero still towards the end of the second half as Casey Hayward gets another pick. Takes a big shot, but... You know, definitely did not fumble. So we hand it off to Jamal. Hopefully, we can score on this possession, ending the dry spell of both offenses. The, um, Jamal Charles once again, nice pickup. We dump it off to Deshaun Jackson, who wisely goes out of bounds, stopping the clock. We give it to um, Jamal Charles once again. We're now officially in his red zone as we find Antonio Gates on this out route, and he does take it all the way for the touchdown look at antonio gates celebrate so we do go into the second half and right here he came out of goal line and his tight end i don't know what happened go ahead and rewind that i mean his tight end hit that post route and then he stopped that post route ran upfield but for some reason casey hayward did not play it and it seemed like my opponent has ran that before because he knew exactly what was going to happen he rolled out of the pocket towards his right and was just literally eyeing that receiver down waiting for him to get open so i gotta try that once but as we hit it to jamal charles shrugs off a defensive lineman that's not easy to do i don't even know why i spun there we could have probably taken that to the house if I didn't spin and you know use up his stamina but right there we do get tackled in the backfield so I give it to Antonio Gates right up the seams third and three Aaron Rodgers scans the field a really really risky pass to Vincent Jackson but you know how they say um more risk gives more reward or something like that yeah so anyways my opponent goes with the screen to Steven Jackson not much going on there second and three play action i believe this was like the team of the week cam Newton because he was showing some serious serious mobility i mean that was a nice catch by my team my opponent did have a really nice team he had mike irvin too in the wide receiver position right here casey hayward third pick of the day he is playing insane but right here man my opponent sends the house this it just doesn't make sense to me i mean some people like i don't know why you would try to risk seven points giving up seven points just to get a safety which is two points it just does not seem logical at all as casey uh casey matthews i meant to say clay matthews gets the pick right here finally showing them hands i mean he has like a 50 something catching a really low catch probably 65 or something like that. but yeah look at jamal charles with that touchdown that speed is ve is very fast i mean he's showing that right there he's not getting tired either which i do like as we send that heater but yeah going back to what i was about to say it just does not make sense to me why you would send the house trying to get a safety and potentially give up a touchdown as morgan burnett 
gets the pick and things are not looking too good for my opponent and we do end up winning but yeah anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy as always if you did go ahead drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel go ahead hit that subscribe button and until next time guys i'm out see you